So what is a lazy terrian? Well, it's a describing word for um, somebody who lives a certain lifestyle with the, the things that they eat. So a vegetarian is somebody that doesn't want to eat meat, chooses not to eat meat, and um, a lazy terrian is um, similar to that, but also very different at the same time. So a lazy terrian is somebody that knows and feels that an killing animals is weird, um, they feel uncomfortable when they see animals being killed, they think it's weird that um, pigs can be gassed to death, they think it's weird that um, some, some animals are stunned to death and then their throats are slit um, so that the, um, the, the hearts can pump out the blood and the meat doesn't go soggy. They think it's weird that um, in the egg industry that baby chicks are either ground up alive or put into a big um, plastic bag and then suffocated to, to death or other ways of killing them after a few days. They think it's weird that um, cows are artificially inseminated. So artificially inseminated is where a human being will get some bull semen. So the way to get bull semen is to tug them off or get them to um, ejaculate into a jar. They then take that semen and then the, um, a human being will put their arm into a cow's vagina and pump that semen that they've taken from the bull into the cow. Um, my view on that is it's like sex. Um, that is um, violation of the sex organs of the cow. Um, so I think it's a bit weird. Personally, my view is that that's weird um, that humans will have sex do artificial insemination on animals. So that's the animal welfare side of things. And the second point is about the environment. Um, a lazy terrier will know that animal agriculture is damaging the planet, um, is an uneconomical use of resources. So like water use is like far more um, in the milk industry than it is to like produce um, some oat milk or some rice milk. And so a lazy terrier is somebody that knows these facts um, no, and has that feel, like has empathy for animals. Um, so definitely has empathy for cats and dogs and their own pets, but won't extend that empathy to the animals they eat. And the laser terrier part comes in where they know all those facts, but they're just too lazy to do anything about it. They just they just think, oh, it's too much effort, it's too hard. Um, my life's too complicated, I can't be bothered. That's one of the main ones, is just like, I can't be bothered to, to be nice, to be compassionate. And I say this from a point of view where I used to be a lazy terrian. I knew all the facts. When I see slaughterhouse footage, it makes me feel uncomfortable. I think having sex with animals is weird. Um, doesn't matter what species it is, species that the human is having sex with, it is weird. And so, and the environment as well. I knew um, that animal agriculture was damaging to the planet. I kind of knew, well, I, I did know that it was a more economical use of resources to use plants instead of fattening up animals. But I was just too lazy. I just thought, I can't be bothered. I can't really be bothered to change what I'm doing. I can't, it's, it's, it was sort of like psychologically, it was, oh, it's gonna to be too much effort to think about it. I'd rather just not bother and carry on as I am. So I now use that term to describe people where they're at today, if they are one of those people, if they are a lazy terrian, if they are too lazy to, um, to cook something different, to take the bit of dead animal out of their meal and bring in something else, maybe some beans, maybe some mock meat, whatever it is. If at that point you, know, you think that it's wrong to kill animals when you don't need to, it's wrong to have sex with animals, it's wrong to kill baby chicks, it's wrong to gas pigs, um, but you're not you're not willing to do something about it. Then you are a lazy terrian. The great thing is that in 2017 we have all these options. So there's a rise of plant milks. There's a rise of plant cheeses. There's a rise of vegan options in restaurants and stuff like that. So it's never been easier to to break that cycle of being a lazy terrian and progress and make your way onto a vegan diet. So if I could send a message to myself 10 years ago, it would be stop spending so much time playing FIFA, stop um, researching into um, football and footballers, 
put that same energy into looking into veganism, looking um, into introducing new recipes into your life and sort of using my time more effectively and be more aligned with my personal feelings that I think it's weird to harm any animal and also eating their dead bodies is very weird um, you know what I mean it's it's sort of rotting flesh of somebody else it's really it's not really a good thing to be putting into your body Bertie so think about it and do something about it and live by your own values and not eat dead animals and eat food that is more environmentally friendly.